This is the fastest firing blaster in my entire collection. See this magazine? It can unload the whole thing in- Yeah. Let's talk about what makes the Lepus one of the most impressive blasters I've used, but also why it fires too fast. Ooh. Oh, look <laughs> at that, dude. Oh. This is a 3D printed blaster. Like, you look at how tiny this thing is. Jesus. Like, like the whole thing? This is the whole thing. The Lepus, created by Jackrabbit Nerfer, has a few customization options. The blue and green colors I chose are from my legit bread color palette, and it reminds me of the Scooby Doo Mystery Machine. Included in my package is a 450 milliamp 3S LiPo battery, other accessories, and they were kind enough to provide some half length darts. So these are Adventure Force waffle darts, which apparently work best for this blaster. The internals are revealed instantly by the easy removal of the back thumb screw. The pusher mech, worker hurricane flywheels, and space for the batteries is all that's visible. To the untrained eye, this rudimentary setup is like a wolf in sheep's clothing. So I'm not doing good camera work right now, sorry. I'm just oh, no too worries. excited looking at this thing. Let's not start a lithium fire though. Hook up the battery and yeah, that's about it for setup. So simple a sloth might be able to figure it out. Oh, is it really this easy? All right, so let's try it out. I'm gonna just rev it and see if it. <laughs> Another customization option for the Lepus is the rate of fire. I mean, five darts a second is pretty fast for nerf standards, but what about 50 darts per second? Now I have to say, I've never freaked out firing a nerf blaster as much as I did with this one. So enjoy our reactions. So we're just gonna try it out here. So just with two darts. Here we go. Just like stand like. All right, here we go. What? You know what else is impressive? Our sponsor supporting the channel, Frag Pro Shooter. There's over 80 million players with about 1 million of them playing every day and thanks to the link in the description you can get special rewards to join in on the action. It's a fun free to play mobile shooter game and just like the Lepus, the gameplay is fast. Zoom zoom. They're also giving away a free Nintendo Switch. Frag is super easy to get the hang of, you just destroy your enemy's bunkers as fast as possible before your opponent does. Be the first to do that and win. I like how you can create strategic decks and the variety of characters is impressive. Like look, it's a furry. Wonder if he's related to this guy. Two new characters have joined the battle. Jaeger the monster hunter and Kazulu the whatever he is. To enter Frag's Halloween contest, recreate your own Kazulu inspired makeup. Check out the full details in game and on Frag's YouTube channel for your chance to win a Switch. I also have my own official Frag Club. Join it to dominate the battlefields with fellow legit bread fans. Click the special link in the description just for you guys to get a ton of free rewards. And yes, the link will work even for those who've already installed Frag. Your support helps out the channel big time, so thank you and let's get back to the nerf content. Cute on the outside, devilish on the inside, the Lepus sports an unassuming frame that's so compact it just looks like an overgrown Nerf Jolt. It's not riddled with unnecessary design choices and rather focuses on simple form factor. Everything you need, it's here and nothing else. Frontline Foam is the custom blaster company that so graciously sent me the Lepus to make this video. So thanks to them, you'll get to see reactions like this. Let's give it one more shot here. Dude, what the Less hell? Less than a second. <laughs> bruh, bruh. <laughs> I blinked and they were gone. The Lepas chews and spits out darts any day of the week. Just feed it Talon magazines and Adventure Force half-length darts. It's a mag and handle system which further reduces the size of the blaster when locked and loaded. <laughs> I can't believe like the handle is bigger than the actual top of this blaster. This looks comical. It, it looks more like a hammer at this point. Using this blaster is kind of odd. It has the familiar two trigger setup that a lot of motorized nerf blasters have. The bottom one revs up the flywheels and the top one allows you to fire. But these triggers are more like little nubs that peek out from the grip. The actuation and pressing of these triggers is harder to control considering how small they are. The handle is comfortable and inserting talon mags is pretty straightforward as they just click into place without the use of a mag release system. And here we go. It's it's too fast. It's not showing up on on I don't it's simply too fast. <laughs> <laughs> As glorious as this is, they do say speed kills. Let's take a look at that. Mind you, this is only like 25 feet away, but let's see like 15 darts hit a door all at once. 
I think it jammed. One second. Let's keep going. This thing goes wild. It's like a beast that you can't tame. So yeah, control is practically non-existent with the Lepus. The best you can do is burst fire it, but your finger will never be precise enough to just fire one dart at a time. The very apparent issue, even from close range, is that this blaster is hardwired to eject as many darts as possible without much regard for accuracy or consistency. Darts fly out in a storm and sometimes they fishtail in the air. Not great for precise aiming. I want to push the Lepus a little bit more, so we're going to also test out these 18 dart worker talon mags, which are slightly curved as well. Okay, if that fired. From my limited testing, it appears for the most part that 18 dart talon magazines work, but occasionally there may be inconsistent feeding. But how about different dart types, such as the new Dart Zone Max half length darts? Yes! They work! It's like liquid lava just flying across the air. And I'm not sure if it's just my eyes, but it seems like these darts have a little bit of a closer grouping compared to the Adventure Force uh, of short darts. They fly really close to where I'm aiming, and that's great. Again, this is only 25 feet away. Might be different in long range situations. Then I discover an issue. Since the motors uh, spin so quickly in the Lepus, they actually start to burn off part of the tips of the darts just being fired once, so that's something to be worry about. And that also goes for the Adventure Force darts. Their shelf life takes a beating when fired from the Lepus, and tons of tiny foam particles fly out everywhere from the sheer friction between the darts and the flywheels. When using the Lepus, I definitely recommend these darts instead of any dart like this. Ooh, something got stuck. What is going on? Another big issue reveals itself. If the pusher happens to rest in this position when you insert a mag, it won't fire. The pusher has to be situated at the back for it to be able to push darts. Now this can be a huge issue if you're spending precious time pulling the trigger and hoping the pusher lands in the correct position before inserting the mag. Putting Adventure Force half-length darts through the chronograph, I was achieving an initial average velocity of 128 feet per second, pretty much just as advertised. Freaking amazing. I don't know how war practical this blaster is, but let me stop you right there, bud. Despite all the bells and whistles, the Lepus has its rightful place as a secondary blaster. It literally fires too fast, so you cannot conserve ammo with this guy. Darts don't always fly consistently and get degraded over time. And that pusher getting in the way of proper magazine loading is one of the biggest annoyances for me. So is this blaster worth buying? It's going to cost you at least 130 USD, not including the battery or darts. The Lepus can serve as an all-out dart hose for a final showdown situation, but its limited use makes it harder to justify that price point. This Nerf blaster fires too fast, but if that's your speed, check out Frontline Foam for this and more blasters. For $185, there's also the super cool shell ejecting blaster I tried out and you gotta see how neat it is. Check out that video on the left. Buy the latest and greatest Nerf blasters down in the description. Thanks for watching, hope you do something great today, and get that bread.